Hello Internet, this is Teraxis Interactive. Uh, I've just received my uh, iPad Air 2 in the mail. Thanks to all the donors for uh, pitching in for that. Um, so I thought I'd step us through a uh, setup. I haven't even installed um, the template on this iPad yet, so I thought I'd walk us through it. I'll focus mainly on the MIDI clock setup. That seems to be the uh, biggest hang-up, but I'll go through a, just a pretty much a raw setup. Um, so the first thing we want to do is just make sure, this is really simple, make sure we're on the uh, same wireless network. So, you know, there's my home network right there. Um, and here I am connected as well. Uh, you can set up an ad hoc as well. You know, that's, there's tutorials that Line has for that that are better than what I could provide. Um, but once, you're, once you've got your connectivity going, let's uh, load up the template here. So I'm going to install it. I've got it downloaded actually, so we'll go to the website into downloads. You've probably already gotten this far before, but we'll get to it. Let's bring this out to desktop. Obviously, this is a uh, Windows install. Mac is similar. The um, Setting up MIDI in and out is a little easier from what I understand, but this should help either way. Uh, once we've got the file downloaded and extracted, we can just open up the file in the Lemur editor. There it is. Um, we will then open up Lemur on the iPad. fairly straightforward for most of us, but I'll step through it. Um, so to send the template into the lemur on the iPad, we just hit this play button up here. Um, you might need to fill in your iPad's IP address. Let's make sure that's correct. That's correct for me. So we'll connect. All right, there you have it. Uh, the template is there, so let's very quickly, we'll save it. So you hit the gear up there, save project. Um, Sure, we'll just use the default name. Okay. So we're done with that for now. Uh, next thing we'll want to do is, if you're on Windows, well, let's make sure the, yep, let's open Loop MIDI. I've already set up the two channels, port A and port B. This is Windows only, the Loop MIDI part. Uh, so as I understand it, the Mac operating system uh, handles this natively. So we've got our two ports, and we're going to want to connect to them within Lemur. So we'll go to More Settings, and we're going to want to do From Port B. Oops, wrong computer. I've actually got two computers on this network, so we want to make sure to use uh, the right one. So. So long story short, uh, Lemur is receiving MIDI input from port B, and it's sending MIDI output to port A. Uh, that's kind of important to remember. Um, so we'll click done up here for now. And we're going to open up Tractor. And we will want to, first things first, import the settings. I've already got them here, but I'll do it again. So you want to navigate to the uh, .tsi file that was in the zip that you downloaded. Click open. This is very important. Uh, there are three options you can select here, but only two are selected by default. So you want to make sure you've checked controller mappings, effect settings, and MIDI clock settings, which are not typically uh, set. Click OK. That'll bring the mapping or the controller mappings in. Uh, the next thing we'll want to do is set up the in and out ports. Um, so just the other half of what we set up in Lemur, we want to now send Tractor to communicate with Lemur. Um, so since Lemur is outputting on port A, we want Tractor to take input, input on port A, and we want it to send output on port B, because uh, Lemur is taking input from port B, and that completes the loop. Um, so a quick way to check this crossing my fingers because I haven't done it on this computer yet. A quick way to check this is uh, we'll agree to the terms and 
There we go. That's how you know the output from Lemur is sending correctly into Tractor. We're changing the deck type and it's responding correctly. Uh, then we want to make sure that Tractor is sending into Lemur correctly. So we'll then again switch back to Track Deck. We saw it change here. Okay, we've got MIDI in and out working correctly now. Um, so the next thing we want to do, and the one everyone's getting hung up on, is MIDI Clock. They keep getting... Um, and I'm just looking at my monitor, sorry, it's a little blurry on the iPad, but we're seeing not receiving MIDI clock down here. The first thing we'll want to do is uh, we'll go through the tractor settings first. So we're going to want to go to preferences. Um, under MIDI clock, let's make sure we're sending MIDI clock. Okay, that's correct. Uh, the next part is we're not seeing it right now, but we're going to need to get the uh, MIDI clock playback panel up. So let's dig through the settings here and uh, excuse me if I fast forward this. Okay, um, you might have to dig around a bit. If you're not seeing the uh, effects up here and stuff, uh, what I ended up clicking was this little full screen window. Um, anyway, you'll want to make sure you're seeing the uh, effects panel um, because behind that, up here under effects, right here is a metronome. That's your MIDI clock um, kind of playback. And you want to make sure auto is on and play is on right there. Um, so those are the, let's just, the relevant settings to see in Tractor for MIDI clock. Um, you want to make sure auto is here turned on, it'll be orange. Uh, the play button is blue for on, and you've got the send MIDI clock um, parameter checked or turned on under preferences MIDI clock. So now that we've got that, we're still not seeing uh, MIDI input in Lemur. And let me refocus here quickly. Uh, maybe that helps a little bit. Doing my best. Uh, bear with me. So anyway, um, the last this setting to make in Lemur, now that we know we've got MIDI in and out working between Tractor and Lemur, and we've set up Tractor to take all of the, uh, or send, you know, all of the proper MIDI clock settings, um, we've also got to configure Lemur to accept MIDI clock. So that is a setting a lot of people are missing. It's in settings, options, slave clocks to MIDI. We're going to want to turn that on. Done. Now you'll see we're receiving MIDI clock. It's enabled. That's all good to go. Um, and so you'll want to select your operating system on Windows and click OK. And we should be good to go. I'll drag a track in here quickly. There we go. Very faint. It's on my uh, lovely Alienware uh, built-in speakers. Um, anyway, that's the super quick startup guide. Looks like I'm coming in at a lovely 11 minutes. Sorry that was so long. Um, I will fast forward through the part where I'm digging for the this part up here. Um, but this is, I, I feel like a lot of people are missing this up here, so I wanted to make sure I got that on video. Um, anyway, download the template. Uh, enjoy it. Give me some feedback. I'll talk to you guys.